When you type something in a word processor, the letters are represented by pixels on your screen. The arrangement of these pixels is determined by a font. It doesn't matter if you change the font, because irrespective of how it looks, the information you've typed remains the same. A musical instrument digital interface, or MIDI, as it's more commonly referred to, is exactly the same but for sound. The MIDI notation recorded through an instrument, or composed by hand, is sent by the computer to an output device connected to the computer. It's not actual sound in the same way that a composer's sheet music can't make any noise. It's a series of instructions. Not everyone can have a fancy MIDI output connected to their machine though, and that's where sound fonts come into play. A sound font is a file that contains samples to be triggered by MIDI notation. And much like how a font represents text, a sound font represents MIDI in real time. This means that if you wanted to create a sound font with the flight officer from TIE Fighter saying TIE Fighter to every MIDI note of the TIE Fighter soundtrack, you could. The possibilities are endless. If you wanted something that actually sounds good, you'd be better off with one of the many great sound fonts available for free. I had long been a proponent of Shan's General MIDI Sound Font, or SGM for short. The sampled instruments sounded wonderful and it worked well with almost anything you threw at it. The problem was, I said, almost anything. Some of the banks weren't as good as others. And so I set off on a quest to find a replacement. Step 4 friend of the channel and sound font guru, Maxime Abbey. Maxime released the Arachnosoft sound font in 2010. And it has become the de facto standard for media interpretation in the decade since. Why? Because of its versatility, the selection of sample banks is so meticulous that you can throw almost any genre at it and get good results. The reason for this, aside from the excellent mixing, is that the recorded notes for the samples are sourced from period-specific hardware, including the likes of Korg, Yamaha, Roland and many others. It's like having a best-of-all-worlds MIDI stack that knows which sample sounds best for each instrument. What this also means is that for retro gaming, you can maintain the correct feel for the MIDI, the absolute best 90s sound can offer, without straying too close to modern reinterpretation. While there are going to be individual sound fonts that are better for specific tasks than Arachno, and you'll probably want to lower the MIDI volume a bit in your mixer, there is no greater all-rounder that I've found for daily DOS gaming. So here's to you, Maxi and Abby and to another decade of fantastic media interpretation. <laughs>